a lot of things have to go right to steal second base. Today we're going to talk about a few of those things to help us get to second. I'm Tony Thomas with Inside Baseball. First thing we got to do is, once we get to first base, is always have an idea where the ball is. Whether the pitcher gets on the mound, if he has the ball in his glove or if he has it in his hand. If he has it in his hand, that means he could pick over at any time. We always want to make sure we keep our eyes on the baseball. Once we notice where the ball is and what type of guy he has on the mound, we want to start with our lead in the back foot of the bag, because when we steal, we want to run to the back point of the bag. We want to make sure we're in a straight line. Now, when I get my lead, again, eyes always on the baseball, never looking down at my feet, I'm going to take two, three steps and then a shuffle. So it'll be a one, two, three, and then a shuffle. This is a comfortable lead. Now, all I got to do is, if I'm getting back, it's a one step and a dive, again, to the back part of the bag. Or it could be just a two-step if I read the pickoff move pretty easy. One, two, back part to the back. So again, once when I have my good primary lead and I get into my still stance, I want to have my body facing towards the pitcher. But a little tidbit to help us get that extra jump, I always want to try to peek in and see what the pitcher and see what the catcher signs are giving. So as I look, my head is still facing forward, but I'm going to look in with my eyes to see if that catcher opens up his legs and now I know if a curveball's coming or even if it's a pickoff move. A lot of times catchers get pickoff signs instead of the pitcher picking off himself. So if the pitcher's giving a pickoff move, I have a little hesitation, a little ready to get back instead of leaning forward. Looking in, trying to get the pitches from the catcher is going to increase our chances to steal second base. I'm Tony Thomas with InsideBaseball.com.